Hey everyone, welcome once again to the PHP 101 screencast with me, Phil from PHP Web Design. I am so sorry. I know I promised last time it wouldn't be so long until my next one. And I'm, yeah. I didn't keep to that. I'm sorry. I've been so busy with stuff that I can't necessarily go into. Some stuff I can, some I can't. So, uh, yeah. So if I'm pixelated, I'm trying some different recording software, um, which is kind of just showing up how rubbish my camera is, and I need to get a new one. But yeah, time and all those kind of issues. So let's get on with this. Today is using PHP files, uh, using any files in PHP. Now uh, you may be going, what? This came up uh, very recently. Um, some of you may know I run a Twitch channel. And part of my Twitch channel is I have a bot that sits in there. And then as people join, uh, they uh, sit and interact with the stream. Uh, in the chat, they accumulate points. Uh, now the points are stored in an any file because that's just the way the bot works. And I decided to do uh, something special on my site, which I'll show you now. And this is well, this is the local version running of my site that I have running up. And what I've done is I've given people the chance to access this here and have a look at their points. So if I just type in my screen name, click check, it says, oh, you have 874 points. The um, reason it says this is because I have to upload the, the any file after every stream. Yeah. So um, what this is reading from, and hopefully you can read this nice and clear. As you can see, there's a, a points.ini file. And this is basically everyone, which I'll quickly scroll past and scroll back up again, that has been into my stream. This is from when I was testing stuff to do with it and so on. But mostly it's like here, there's my screen name. That's how many points I've got. Uh, Moobot is a different bot, someone I sometimes stream with, so on and so forth. <coughs> so this is just an ini file. Uh, best way to think of this is as kind of like an array okay so that would be an array key which would have a, a set of array variables underneath which in this case is only one of them which is points which has a value so that's the best way really to um, think about it uh, I just caught myself out looking at the wrong screen then so yeah I'm a Muppet so the way I've got this working on my site is, well, I'll just give you the rough idea. Uh, we've got a blank index.php, okay? And to show you how blank it is, if I just pull up that window again, where is it gone? There it is. And I just go to uh, local host forward slash screencast, not local hoster localhost slash screencast you'll see there is nothing here it is completely empty now let's just basically dump out everything that's in that any file so what I've personally done is I chose to store the file name in a, a, a variable just because it makes sense so I'm just going to call dollar file name and that's literally just going to have what the file is called, which in this case is capital P oints dot ini. So there we go. So that's now somewhere, that's now basically where my points file is. A reason, one of the reasons I did that is if my points file moved location, um, all I'll do is update it here. And anyway, I need to use that, it's available to me. So make life simple. <coughs> now, how do I get all this data? Well, PHP has an awesomely easy and useful function called pass any file. Oh yeah, that's simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a variable. I'm gonna call variable data and I'm just gonna go pass underscore any underscore file. And then I'll give it the file name. And then what I'm gonna do is put true which I can't remember what it does oh yeah it uh, brings it up all the following sections of the array 
so if you don't put the true there I think actually it might equate to true by default I can't remember exactly if not it will only do the top level array so in this case it would just be the usernames and then nothing else putting true forces it to go through and go right this is the usernames this now is all the points I'm hand gesturing when you can't see me go figure but yeah, it goes this is all the username this is all the points make it into an associative array an array of arrays so just to prove we've got that if I just var dump uh, dollar data and then bring up that screen again and go F5 you can see here it is it's converted it all into a nice useful array yes so you can see this is the array key which was the uh, username section uh, then you got next array key and then the value so simple you gotta love PHP when it does things like that so what I have chosen to do is I made it in a form that they can submit okay so what I'm gonna do is get rid of that bit there and I'm just gonna exit out of this PHP for a moment and just do some straightforward HTML because why not so HTML uh, and just do a body and in a form tag and give it the method of a post there we go uh, if I could just if I remember correctly let's just try and clean up this indentation because it's not actually doing it for me okay it's just going to be an arse and not an indent it for me yay thanks PHP storm so anyway We've got a nice form with just a method of post. Don't need to give it a, a location to go to because this has all been processed within the same file. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to need an input, which I'll just do like that. I have a type, which I'm going to be text, and I need a name, which I'm going to just call username, like that, and a placeholder. Uh, I just go into username and then I'm gonna need a button of the type of submit uh, give that a value of click me like so so if I go back to the web page which I have just lost where is it gone there it is and refresh you can see just got a simple form that says enter username and click me okay which at the moment will do nothing okay so what I'm now going to do is if oh, do you know what, this is going to bug me if it isn't sorted out so uh, that that and that there we go just a little bit of useless unnecessary cleanup but oh well so uh, after the form I am gonna do PHP tags okay and this is my little trick that I do so I don't need to give it uh, an actual um, destination so I can do it with the same file all I'm gonna do is just a simple if statement and go if not empty uh, dollar underscore post so global variable and let's go username like so now if it isn't post so basically the one's filled in this form well it just gets ignored if it is post so someone's filled something in and so therefore that used that post of super global of post under the use, username or name of username will have a value so therefore would not be empty then it will do something in which case this will go I went to username because you never know how people are going to do this and just go straight to lower and uh, dollar and score post and username some people because uh, the way the bot works whether people have capitalization in their username it um, lower cases everything so just eradicate that out make sure nothing's everything's fine then I'm going to do another check okay 
just because someone might check and find out that they're, they're not there. So is set, uh, find out that their username isn't there. So is set uh, dollar data, I'll open bracket, dollar data and I'm being an idiot, dollar username. So therefore they have a value, it will do something. So uh, display stuff. Uh, else, so not found the username. Fail. Uh, and I'll just actually just to make things simple, I'll just do a h3 of. Uh, oh dear. Uh, sorry, I'll just echo it out. And just go, couldn't, couldn't find you, sorry. And I should have escaped that, but if I just do that instead, I don't need to escape it, like so. Uh, so if we go back to the file, I'll just do a quick refresh on it, cancel. And I'm just going to go uh, Billy Bob like that and do click me. Couldn't find you, sorry. So, yeah, uh, but if I type my screen name in, it does nothing at the moment, but it has found me. It's not displaying the fail message, which is good because that's what we want it to do. So, therefore, now let's display how many points the person has. And what we're going to do is just literally go echo because this is we found them now I go echo um, h3 you have a dollar data or username because we've done double quotes I can get away with this if not then I'm gonna look them up it now points Uh, and then just close the H3. Just completely lost my train of thought for a second then. Oh, and uh, close that. So if I go back to it, now what should happen, unless I've derped, ah. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. Let's think this through. If I just do, um, Oh god damn it. Okay, let's just do this properly. Let's do what I should have done before, like that. There we go. 874. Should have been able to just escape. I've uh, done it because of the double quotes, but meh. Oh well, let's just do it properly. So do the space, then the full stop to concatenate the line with the data. So there we are in literally, well, to actually read the ini file, it's a one function call, single function, happy days. But then to actually display and to have a form to interact, we've just done this nice little bit of if statement, small block of code, and jobs are good. So that is a nice, quick, simple one for you today. And that is how to um, ingest use process or you want to call it an any file using php so yeah so that was a nice quick short one um i'm most possibly going to record some more and get them out to you in the near future we'll wait and see but until next time see ya have fun and keep coding bye bye